overnight across Scotland and Northern Ireland. It's currently snowing in Edinburgh, as you can see from our weather watchers picture. And we've got some rain, which is continuing to push steadily southeastwards through England and Wales, with a few snow showers mostly on high ground across Wales, Northern England, the North Midlands, and later we'll see a few of those getting in to the moors again on high ground. And later what you'll find is they'll return to rain or to sleet. But as the rain clears away, it will brighten up. We'll continue with some more snow across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That's going to be accompanied by frequent lightning. And this combination could well lead to some disruption, especially so when you add on the strength of the wind. It's going to be a windy day wherever you are, and that will make it feel colder than these temperatures are suggesting. We're looking at four to eight degrees. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, there'll be some clear skies. We still will have some snow showers. It will be windy to start with, but then the wind will slowly ease. And we're looking at some frost across parts of Scotland and sheltered parts of England. Temperatures falling away to between about 1 and 5 degrees. Then as we head on through the rest of the week, while we've got this ridge of high pressure building in, that does mean that things will settle down. And during the course of Friday, for example, it will start off windy in the east, but then the winds will ease. There'll be a lot of dry weather around. And we're also looking at a weather front coming in later in the day to the west, introducing some thicker cloud and also some rain. Temperatures won't be as low as they're going to be today. We've got highs in the south, around about 11 degrees, but still pretty nippy in Larwick we're looking at five degrees. Charlene Naga. Carol, thanks very much. See you later. It is 12 minutes to end. We are it's also in Northern Ireland. The Met Office has a weather warning out for snow and lightning. It's valid until eight o'clock this evening. We could have up to 20 centimetres of snow on higher ground in Scotland, one to seven centimetres at lower levels. And once again, when you add in the lightning, disruption is possible. This is where it's been falling through the course of the night. We've had snow showers also across Northern England, Wales, heading into the North Midlands. And we'll see some getting into the moors, but most of these are on high ground. And as we saw with Adam earlier, there's a lot of rain moving across the southeast. That will eventually clear away. And then we're into a day of bright spells, sunshine and showers. But a lot of the wintry showers really retrieving, retreating back to being sleet or indeed rain, except for on higher ground. Now, these are our temperatures, four to eight degrees. But when you add on the wind and it's going to be a windy day wherever you are, it will feel much colder than that. Tonight, there'll be a touch of frost in the north, the risk of ice, a little bit of frost as well. The thunderstorm's easing and it is going to be a cold night. The wind will also slowly start to ease. And then as we head into Friday, the rest of Friday and also the weekend, a ridge of high pressure builds in. The winds ease, the weather settles down until we get to Monday. And once again, we see a return to some unsettled conditions. Charlene Nagger. Carol, Carol, thanks very thank much. Thank you. It's just coming up to half past seven.